إن الحمد لله إن الحمد لله نحمده ونستعينه ونستغفره ونستهديه ونعوذ بالله من شرور أنفسنا ومن سيئات أعمالنا إنه من يهديه الله فهو المهتدي ومن يضلل فلا ننتج له وليا مرشدا وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له وأشهد أن محمدا عبده ورسوله وصفيه من خلقه وحبيبه أشهد أنه قد بلغ الرسالة وأدى الأمانة ونصح الأمة ومحى الغمة وجاهد في الله حق جهاده حتى أتاه اليقين فصلاة وسلاما على عبدك ونبيك محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم تسليما كثيرا يقول الله سبحانه وتعالى بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم والعصر إن الإنسان لفي خسر إلا الذين آمنوا وعملوا الصالحات وتواصوا بالحق وتواصوا بالصبر وعن عائشة رضي الله عنها قالت قال رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم من أحب الله من أحب لقاء الله أحب الله لقاءه ومن كره لقاء الله كره الله لقاءه فقلت يا رسول الله أكراهية الموت؟ فقلنا نكره الموت قال ليس كذلك ولكن المؤمن إذا بشر برحمة الله ورضوانه وجنته أحب لقاء الله فأحب الله لقاءه وإن الكافر إذا بشر بعذاب الله صخ... صخ... وسخطه كره لقاء الله وكره الله لقاءه أو كما قال عيسى أما بعد Oh praise to Allah Oh praise to Allah The one, the only The one who should be worshipped I bear witness That he is the creator of this universe And he is the one who should be worshipped I bear witness That Muhammad Is his messenger True mercy sent to us If you follow his path Inshallah will be in Jannah أما بعد Every one of us, when he has a young, boy, young boy or girl, some of the main surah he, he teaches them. It's the easy surah, three ayat, just three ayat, quickly. Memorize. Alhamdulillah. But do we know what's an asr in the What's the meaning of this surah? How important is this surah? How can it change our lives? This surah. Every one of us read the Quran and we need to understand the Quran. The Sahaba used to understand the Quran. Memorize it, yes, but understand it. So many of us memorize the Quran. But do we understand what they mean? Today, I'll discuss what's last. What's this surah is about, all about. It's about our life. Imam al-Shafi'i, radiallahu an, one of the main groups, you know, everyone, we have almost five or four groups, four main sects, coming Islam, Abu Hanifa, Malik, al-Shafi'i, and Ahmed ibn Hanbal. Brought Islam from the main sources of the Sahaba. Imam al-Shafi'i said, لو تدبر الناس هذه السورة لوسعتهم. If you understand this surah, it's done. You can work with it all your life. How important this surah? Three ayat. It can change our lives if you understand what this surah for. Let's start the meaning. What well, asr? What does it mean asr? Some of the ulama said it's the asr prayer which we will pray after the, after now after this juma. It's asr. We pray. And some of the ulama said no. Al-Asr means time. Allah is swearing by time. And some of that said no. The Asr means our life. Asr in sand. We're living 50, 60, 70, 80, whatever. Allah is swearing with our lives. How long you want to stay in this dunya? Everyone want to stay for hundreds? Everyone want to live as Nuh lived, right? But what are you going to do with this life? Imagine with me that you're going to live as Nuh lived. What are you going to do? What are, uh, to know what are you going to do, ask yourself, what are you doing now? And repeat it. What are you doing every day? You wake up, breakfast, then lunch, then dinner, then playing Fortnite for the youth, or watching movies at the end, and then sleep, and again, and again. What does it mean? What did you add? What did you work? Is this life? No. Then Allah is telling us, make sure that you understand what is life for. What time is important. 
Life is not just eating and drinking and getting more kids. No. Life is more than that. Look at this next. Inna al-insana la fi khusr. Inna al-insana la fi khusr. All human beings are in trouble. Why? Why we are in trouble? Because we under don't understand the purpose of our lives. We teach our kids, our youth, why you're here? To have fun. Right? In schools, what are you doing? Having fun. A good home, what are you doing? Having fun. Then we bring our everyone to have fun. Then really, and even if it work, I work in God. I hope you work and you have fun. Yeah, fun is good. But all the time? All the time is fun? No. You have to be committed to do something. To work and do something. To have a reason in this life. To have a, a, a mission. Why are you here? Why are you in this life? What are you doing? What are you adding? What's your value? So many times I heard the hadith about the scale in the hereafter and everyone will weigh his, his scale, his, his hasanat and sayyat and even he will jump himself in the scale and still he worth nothing and they said, why? why this is the case? I, I, I weigh maybe 100 kilos or 120, 150, whatever your what scale is how can I win a golden scale in the hereafter? I don't weigh anything how? Because what did you do in this dunya? That's the scale. It's not meat and flesh and water. It's what you do. What's your value? Did you take care of your youth? Did you take care of your mosque? Your masjid? Did you take care of the masjid? Did you take care of what? Islam? Did you take care of Islam? Is it my responsibility? It's every one of us. Islam. We need to teach our youth to take care of Islam. That's how important it is. Then everyone, the ayah said, every human being is in loss. And we put an exception after uh, the third ayah. Illa. Oh, one more before I go to the illa. There are two kinds of khusar. Two kinds of loss. Loss in this dunya, and definitely the people above 25 will understand the loss of, you can lose your money, you can lose your, some part of your health. You wake up and your heel squeezes in your, in your body. Uh, okay, I'm trying to stretch. And you tell my son, I'm stretching, don't worry. I'll be moving soon, I'll stand up, right? Above 25, have you seen that? Ah, yeah, I have seen it. My knees, when you go up, oh, don't worry my son, I'm jumping, I'm standing. You lose some of your, your health, which is okay. This khusara is not khusara. Don't worry about it. This, this is, you'll gain more. It's life. But the worst khusara is, the worst loss is, what you lose in the hereafter. In the akhirah. When you lose the akhirah, you didn't plan. How can I know that I lost the akhirah? What did you plan today? How did you work today for that day? I always tell everyone, you want to be a doctor? You want to be an engineer? You have to apply. You have to work for university. You have to study, right? Everyone has to study. You want to be someone? What? Work for it. You want to go to Jannah? You want to go to Jannah? That's a question. Do you want to go to Jannah? What do you do for it? Jannah is a mission. What are you going to do? Do you have it in your head even when you work? Even you know something, Jannah you can do it while you're studying to be a doctor or engineer. Even coming to the mosque to pray, Jannah can be there. Everything you do in life, can Jannah be there? Even playing Fortnite or watching NBA, Jannah can be there. How? Just imagine that you're playing Fortnite and someone saying a bad word. You say, don't say a bad word. We're Muslim. I cannot accept bad words. And your intention is not hearing bad words. So many things you can do. Think about it. When I was in university, you boys and girls shake hands. My time. What I did, I cannot change life. But usually when girls come to me and say, Salam, how are you? Nice meeting. 
I changed, the, the idea itself changed. No one is shaking hands anymore. The same idea everywhere. You can try it here, you can try it everywhere. Try little by little, you can make a difference in life. That's how it works. Then, what's illa now? Illa is whatever in the beginning, it's exception from what's coming. What's coming is what? Alladheena amanu. What's alladheena amanu? If you think about it, Allah said, Innama al You have to put, by the way, always put a definition. Don't take anything without a definition. Never. I see some of you even using the phones while I'm working, which is okay with me, but really, hear me. It's 10 15 minutes. Don't use the phones while, while, while I'm while giving the khutbah because you can lose the khutbah. But anyway, I'm not looking, by the way, to the words the one who's using it. Allah said, Amanu. What's Amanu? Innama al mu'minun al ladheena idha dhukira Allah wajilat kuloobuhum. Ibn al mu'min what? When he's told Allah, he stops. Sayyidina Umar used to be harsh in anyone. And some kids. When I say kids, really, uh, it's different than our kids. Kids there are different than these kids. They understand, they know. They talk to each other, said, do you want to stop Omar? He's the Khalifa. How can you stop him? I'll show you. Ya Omar, Allah. He stopped crying. The word Allah. Sayyidina Omar started crying. Why are you crying, Omar? Do you know something? I don't know. I know I'm a sinner. Do we do that? When someone tells you, Taqillah, don't you know I'm the best one here? I'm the best Muslim. Think again. If someone tells you, Taqillah, stop. Think, what did I do wrong? Maybe I'm doing something wrong. Maybe I didn't say salam. Maybe I didn't smile. Maybe. Try to think. But then the first one, an iman. First one, an iman. What's iman? It's what's inside, shows in your tongue. This iman. Whatever in the heart, and making sure that you work on it. It needs training, by the way, especially with the young youth here. Beautiful smile. MashaAllah. I love the smiles of the youth, really. Because it, it gives me hope of the future. But really, we need to understand, teach each other. Iman, what's Iman? Making sure that you are, some people said scared, no. Don't be scared from Allah. Love Allah, don't be scared from Him. He loves us. Just saying, I love you Allah, plus. But if you love someone, you have to be good to him. If you love your friend, you give him something. Sometimes you get him win to win in Fortnite or let him play more or pass him the ball if you're playing soccer. That's how you love someone. You don't boycott him. No. You remember Allah. That's how you love him. Did the ayah stop here? No. Illa has to be four things you have to do it. Illa ladina amanu. Wa amilu salihat. Amilu salihat how? To show. Show that you're doing it. Show means I show my brother here Hisham. No, I don't want to show anyone or show brother Muhammad or Ali or Hazan. Can't you see I'm a good man to pray? I can lead, I can, mashallah, alayya. No, you worship him, you make sure that you do for him. That's how it works. Amilu salihat, you do, I donate for him. If someone sees me, I don't care, but I want him to see me. Our mother Aisha used to perfume the, the coins before it gave it to the, uh, the, the poor. And when she stole, she said, it goes to the hand of Allah before it goes to the hand of the poor. When you pray, are you ready to pray? To meet him? Are we ready? Do we think we are ready? Subhanallah, وَعَامِلُوا الصَّالِحَاتِ Then, وَعَامِلُوا الصَّالِحَاتِ Then what should we do next? وَتَوَاصَوْ بِالْحَقِّ 
I love you in the sake of Allah. I love Bishra, I love Kenan, I love Ali, I love Hassan. I, I come to pray. Come, Muhammad, come with me. Ali, come with me. Hamza, come with me. I'm going to pray. Your brother, you know, I'm tired. I'll wait for you. Let's pray with each other. I want to pray Jama'ah at home. When you go home, do you pray my son Aisha? Yes, father. Can you pray with me again? Can I pray again? Yes, you can pray 10 times. No problem of praying. Other times. No problem. Pray. Jama'ah. Teach your youth. Teach the family. Come and pray. Let's make a Jama'ah at home. وَعَمِنُوا الصَّالِحَاتِ وَتَوَاصَوْا بِالْحَقِّ Remember, teaching each other. What's haq? I was, I was telling the, everyone who attend the mosque or attend the masjid, you think that you just know يقول الله وحد قل أضرب الفلق قل أضرب الناس and on us. And really, this is simple basic thing how to pray Allah inshallah when you're old enough to go to the university inshallah you'll find some people who doesn't know these things you would be surprised in the university that some people they don't know even how to pray how to fast why to fast why to pray where to pray so many questions my my youth I definitely i have adults now with me they are almost finishing the university they tell me that basic questions some of you attend the mosque they know they don't know then you teach each other you make sure that you help each other you make sure that your son or daughter are not from the other side that they don't know anything about islam and you come to the mosque, brother, my kids doesn't know anything about Islam. Can you help me? How old is your son? 18. Oh, I'm sorry. It's too late. What are you talking about here? Where have you been when he was four? Four? Yeah, even two. I love the girl there that's wearing hijab and sitting with us at prayer. Her father is teaching her. I love you, Allah, in the sake of Allah. Bring your youth. Bring them. Let them see. This is tawasaw bil haqqi. And the ayah, surah finished like that? No. If you even do, amanu, wa amilu salihat, wa tawasaw bil haqqi, you did all of that. Still, you didn't finish the exception. The third, fourth one, and the hardest, I believe, of all. Wa tawasaw bil sabri. How can you tell everyone around you, iman is hard? Prayer is a sub. You need to prove yourself. Sub. Have. I always give this area which is very important to all of us to understand, especially the adults over 25. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said in the Quran, Allah didn't say wasbur. No. Allah said wasbur. The ulama taught us that every ayah increase one character, increase the meaning. Wastabir means do extra effort when you do something. When your son tells you I have to play Fortnite or I have to do this or your friend I don't have time for you. I'll wait. How long do you want? Five minutes? I'll wait for five minutes. Oh, I don't care. Let me pray. Prayer in time. In the Salat Akkad al Mumin Kitab Makuta. Yes, it is. But you have to wait for your son, for your daughter, to pray with them. Yeah, it's Salat Makuta, but still, they are responsible for you, from you. <coughs> Take care of that. Are you ready to teach them? Then you need to have sub in you to teach them. Sub in you to work with them. When your son comes to you or daughter, I need to fast. It's hard, you know. It's hard. One of the teachers, by the way, for my son, I went to went to school and they told him he was six at that time. Six years. He said it's hard to fast. I cannot hold my, my fasting for two hours. I, I see it hard on my six years old. He said, if you want to drink, make him drink. But if he doesn't, don't push him. Six years, he was fasting. I have no problem. Great. I'm happy. It's hard. Suffer from him and suffer from me and how to prove, the, to tell the teachers how, how we can do it. It needs some suffering. It needs some work. It needs some training for all of us. That's the surah. What did we learn from the surah? Inshallah, the next part of the khutbah. أقول قولي هذا واستغفر عليكم فاستغفروا يا فوز المستغفرين.
ان الحمد لله نحمده ونستعين ونستغفر ونستهدي ونعوذ بالله من شرور انفسنا ومن سيئات اعمالنا ما بعد what's our homework today first definitely memorize the surah definitely memorize the surah three ayat very simple very simple surah if you read it you'll memorize it very simple how to work with it one make sure that you teach everyone around you the beauty of surah and how to deal with each other Two, have patience with others, especially the youth, your son, your daughter, have patience with them. There are so many monocr- um, problems around them, they are trying to take them from us. So many r- deals around us, so many khitat, I'm trying to find the word khitat. So many around us that they are trying to drag our kids away from us. Some of them, even if I saw it, the flowers thing that's happening now, anything around us, what's your plan? What's your plan to do something about it? Are you ready to talk? Are you ready to, to check with them? Then two, may have sub. Three, try to use every minute of your life. And they tell the youth, especially, you have three, four hours to play Fortnite? Okay. I have no problem even though I disagree, but okay, do it. But at least give me after that half an hour. For the sake of Allah, give me something out. And slowly, read one half a page, read one ayah, two ayah every day. Try to make it in your rules. Let's make a change. Three, four, know that life can change in seconds. Wallahi, I have so many examples around me that life can change in seconds. Everything flips. In a weird way, a doctor immediately had a problem and now he is handicapped. In seconds, life can change in seconds. A brother here from the second khutbah, his brother was young, had an accident, gone from our lives. Life can change in seconds, prepare yourself. Finish every madness with one us. Try to teach every other. Finally, before we go, I need to remind everyone. Allah send us bonuses after a bonuses after a bonus for us to grab hasanat, for us to teach our youth, for us to have a, a, a discussion about it, why we are doing what we are doing, which is coming on the first of the hijjah, the first 10 days of the hijjah. Very important, the ulama said, even though inshallah next week I'll give another khutbah for it, but just a quick summary. The ulama said this is the best 10 days of the year. It should be 1st of July, by the way. If you need Gregorian, it's the 1st of July. Or 1st of the Hijjah. 1st of the Hijjah, 10 days. Why? It has all the deeds. Al-Fajri, Al-Quran says Al-Fajri, Walayn Ash, most of the ulama said it's these 10 days of the Hijjah. What's the benefits of it? The hasanats are doubled or tripled or whatever bonuses. It has one day which is uh, sorry, which is Arafat. It's equal to two years of hasanat. Plan. Even I tell women, tell your family, your wives, your kids, your sorry, your girls. Some of them will talk to them. I may have a period. Have the niyyah that if it's there and I can do it, I will do it. Allah is the most generous. He will give it to you. He will give you the reward. Fast that day. Fast the ninth, which will be most probably Saturday. Can I fast Saturday alone in this? Some of the alama said yes, you can. Okay? You can do it. Inshallah. And then come in Eid, inshallah, it will be 10th until now, inshallah. It's not already announced. It. Inshallah, 10th of uh, July. And we will pray, inshallah. Here, we'll announce, inshallah, and within two weeks, inshallah. But this is the way it is. We need to work hard, a little bit. Jannah is to go to be a doctor or engineer takes how many years? How many years? Undergrad, four years to be a doctor and three years medical and then two to five years to be specialized. I'm telling for experience because I know. I'm not a doctor, but I know. And really we're talking about 10 years of your life just to be a doctor. Jannah, who stay in eternity there, doesn't need a little bit of time. And Allah is not asking for more. Allah is asking, while you're doing it, you'll go to Jannah. 
If you understand Surah Al-Asr, you will understand the beauty of Al-Asr. You will understand that every calamity in life, you can get rewarded from. Every calamity, everything, even laughing, even laughing, Allah, from everyone around us, smiling is sadaqah. Smiling is sadaqah. I'll finish with a story. It's related to something that's happening now as we speak. One of the ulama, one of the ulama was walking and some kids were laughing. And his companions told them, you see these people are laughing. Make dua against them. Make dua against them. And the alim said, okay, let's make dua. And he raised his hand and he said, oh Allah, as they are happy now, make them happy in the hereafter. Always look at the positive side. Always smile and make others. Wallahi, sometimes we need to cleanse our hearts from all the problems. That's how asbir wa tawasaw bis sabri. A sabr means adjusting your every act of life to make it for the sake of Allah. This is very important to know. If your homework today is you learn this surah and you learn how to achieve it in your life, this is the most important things in our lives. Make sure that you teach your kids, teach your adults, teach ourselves, understand how important is surah al-asr. Allahumma khfil lana dhunubana. Allahumma khfil lana dhunubana. Wa israfana fi amrina. Allahumma wa tawafana salihin. Allahumma wa taqabbal minna ramadhan. Allahumma wa taqabbal minna ramadhan. Allahumma wa taqabbal minna ramadhan. Wa khfil lana wa li walidina wa li man sabaqana bil iman. Wa la tajal fi qulubina ghillan lillazina amanu. Rabbana inna karawufur rahim. Wa akhiru da'wana. Alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen. Wa qumu la salatikum. Alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen. Yeah.